Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the North Lincolnshire series, a district of 56 parishes in the north of Lincolnshire. Let's see which one we're visiting today. Welcome back to North Lincolnshire. It's quite grey and quite cloudy today. It's a little overcast as you can see. But uh, the good thing about this is that it's not uh, blisteringly hot summer heat like we've had just lately, which means that today I can walk around in the nice, cool, fresh air without having to uh, stop for a drink every five minutes. So where are we? We are on a bridge, which is over a dike, a uh, little drainage channel. And there is a river out here along this restricted byway where there's a bridge. Now, as you can see, to get to said bridge, I would have to walk it because no unauthorized vehicles are allowed beyond this point right here. The only problem is I can't really walk to it either because there's nowhere for me to park the car here near this bridge uh, without blocking the road. So if I show you where my car is right here, look, there wouldn't be enough space for a tractor or anything to come past to get to these fields. So the bridge that's down there will have to feature in today's picture bit. I was planning to start there, but unfortunately that's now not going to happen. It means that we need to hop back into the car and head into today's village. And it's quite a nice one. And it's one that has quite a few nice views across this valley. This is the Ancombe Valley we've been here before. Have a look at this. We see the hills in the distance there. I'll be on top of those later. But first we need to walk around the parish of Saxby All Saints. <laughs> This North Lincolnshire episode is sponsored by Past Days, a family history blog by June Terrington. You'll find her link in the description. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Saxby All Saints is located six miles north of Brigg and four miles southwest of Barton upon Humber in North Lincolnshire, straddling the B1204 road in the Ancombe Valley. This village is a conservation area, and once again, we're in one of the five low villages, so called because of their position below the northern edge of the Lincolnshire Wolds, an area of outstanding natural beauty. Saxby probably either derives its name from a farmstead or village of a man called Saxy, an old Scandinavian personal name, or from the word Saxar, meaning Saxons. In 1885, Kelly's Directory, the Bible of the Lincolnshire village almost, noted Saxby as a small but very pleasant village. Land here was and still is agricultural, noted for producing wheat, oats and barley. The most notable family here historically would be the Bartons, who would later become the Hope Bartons. They're referenced both on the village's old national school and within the church. In 1913, Henry John Hope Barton was High Sheriff of Lincolnshire. Like Hawkstow, Saxby is famed for a folk song. Named Died for Love, it was collected by folk song collectors Percy Granger and Lucy Broadwood from a Saxby bailiff, Joseph Taylor, in 1906. Both it and Hawkstow Grange would end up in Granger's Lincoln Chipotle suite. Let's take a wander and see what we can collect. Our route around Saxby All Saints was supposed to begin at Saxby Bridge, but instead it's starting here on North Car Lane. Let's head for the B1204, Saxby's main road. Yeah. 
Almost straight away we have a major landmark. This is the Queen Victoria Monument, a stone column and drinking trough with a water spout and a carved lion's head. This commemorates the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. That's a theme in the Low Villages. It also commemorates Frederick Horsley. The inscription reads, having been for 42 years the faithful and respected steward of this estate. The monument is Grade 2 listed and it stands at the foot of Saxby Hill, which we're about to go up. So here we are heading up Saxby Hill. Thankfully, I don't have to walk very far up here before there's a right turn which takes us towards the churchyard. The hills feature quite a lot in this area of North Lincolnshire because we're on the side of the, the walls, the chalk escarpment that we spoke about before in places like South, er South Ferriby and Hawkstow and in West Lindsay places like Grasby and uh, Searby Camombe and places like that. And, uh, yeah, they're quite, uh, they're quite steep in places. Make no mistake, Saxby Hill is steep. You see, this is why the villages here are called the Low Villages, because they sit below the steep chalk escarpment that rises above them to the east. As such, Saxby nestles into the hillside, which at this point is wooded. What you're looking at here is the hillside plantation, recognised as an important part of the Saxby Conservation Area. This acts as a shelter belt for some historic parkland which it surrounds. As this footpath approaches the church, you enter a brand new community woodland which stretches to some three acres. We can enter the churchyard in a couple of ways. This is the way I picked, a small track leading towards the chancel of the church. Okay, so this is the entrance to the churchyard, or one of the entrances. Seems to be a makeshift one, because I think the actual entrance is around the other side, but we'll, uh, we'll go through here. Seems to be well trodden, this path. Here we go. There we are. The church. We'll have a look at this next. So here we are at the church, unsurprisingly dedicated to All Saints. This is a Grade 2 listed building. It was built by George Gilbert Scott between 1845 and 1849 with a pyramid roof tower. Nicholas Pevsner described the roof as less correct and looking as if it was meant for a town hall. I think it's quite charming, but what do I know? All Saints style is late 13th century. It includes stained glass by Charles E. McKemp added in 1876 and the tower has three bells. Inside, there are monuments to the Barton family. A clock was added to the tower by the parishioners in 1893 to commemorate the coming of age of Henry John Hope Barton, and the 1904 chancel screen was carved in the village. I thought the churchyard was a little overgrown, but other than that, it was a fabulous corner of Saxby. Right next to it, there are these terrace-like steps covered in artificial grass. So when I did my research for this one, I saw this on the map, these terraces, and wondered what they were. I still have no idea. They remind me a lot of rice terraces that you see in hot countries, generally speaking. Why would they be here? I mean, they're obviously not rice terraces because they're astroturf, they're not, uh, they're not real grass. But yeah, they're a unique feature, aren't they? The white building you see here is the village hall. This was once the village school. On the wall is a plaque which tells us that it was gifted to the village by the Hope Bartons in 1961. The village hall hosts the Saxby Flicks Cinema, a community cinema project set up to provide the Low Villages with a real cinema experience. I've included their website link below. Saxby is not short of village events either. Here on Church Lane, we pass a board advertising a garden fete, one of the village's summertime attractions. There's a lot going on in this place. Emerging from Church Lane, we have the 18th century Saxby Hall next, where the Barton family lived. Brick built and Grade 2 listed, it was remodelled in the 19th century. The old West Wing still remains. Certainly in the countryside, you do find some really, really unique names, don't you? This area here, these bungalows, this is called Fairy's Field. There's got to be a story behind that, surely. Fairy's Field. 
Here's a bus stop, but as far as I can tell, there are no services here. The village used to lie on both the Brig to Immingham and South Ferriby to Scunthorpe bus routes, according to Wikipedia. Park Lane is our turnaround point where we head back north towards the Queen Victoria Monument. Up here, you can purchase some local honey, according to this sign. We've hit what is effectively the village centre. Here, there's the parish notice board and the old red phone box, which has been used as something of a flower planter. So that's definitely an unusual use for a phone box, isn't it? We haven't seen that before, or at least if we, we, we have, it's a long time ago and I've forgotten it. Right next to that, we've got the parish notice board. The cards already been put on it, nice and high, so people can see it. And let's continue back to the north next. There are a couple more notable buildings to tell you about as we make our way back. You're looking at the mid to late 18th century brick-built manor house here. Over the road are two cottages. The one on the right is the old smithy because every village in times past had one of those. And that brings us back to North Car Lane. The bridge sign you can see here refers to Saxby Bridge, built in the same style as that of Hibblestow Bridge. If you cross it, you'll arrive in Appleby. Okay, it's time for today's picture bit, which will focus a lot on Saxby Bridge, which I mentioned at the start of the video. It's down here, down uh, North Car Lane. And uh, for reasons I've already explained, I can't get to it. Uh, and then after that, we'll go up onto the hills and I'll show you what a brilliant view you can get into the Ancombe Valley. I came this morning from uh, the road that's up there down into the village because the, the way I took off the M180, I actually, I actually took a wrong turn, uh, but I'm pleased I did because I passed an amazing viewpoint, which I'll show you after today's picture, but it is fantastic up there. <music> So here we are at the top of the hill. This is the Saxby viewpoint. And I know you can't really see a lot from where I'm standing right now because this cornfield is kind of <laughs> taking up most of the shot. But trust me, out there, I can see a heck of a lot. I can see Scunthorpe Steelworks in the distance, just there, under, uh, it's just above my finger. And I imagine if these trees and these hedges weren't here you'd be able to see the river Humber from here I would have thought and possibly the Humber Bridge but uh, you might need to be a bit closer to uh, the Humber uh, to get a good view of that from here now all of these villages in this next sort of section of North Lincolnshire are all follow the sort of the valley the Ancombe Valley uh, you've got Bonby you've got Whirlaby and then you've got Elsham uh, which is where um, the M180 at Junction 5 uh, becomes a thing and uh, they will all have this kind of view. It would be better if the sun was out but uh, I won't complain seeing as it's not um, blisteringly hot like it has been. Anyway that's been the parish of Saxby All Saints here in North Lincolnshire and I'll move on to one of those other three villages next. I've been Andy also known as the Village Idiot and I'm out. Mm -hmm.